Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to draw Minato doing a Rasengan. So he's it's like an action pose. He's facing straight forward, so it's a little bit trickier because we got a hand and stuff like that. So take your time, use a pencil. Hit pause if I go too fast, okay? I'm on a landscape orientation page as usual. Use a pencil. Uh, yeah, I said that already. <laughs> I've done this so many times that like, I forget what I say. So... Right, we'll just get into it. So let's go. Minato, I've moved more, his head over to the right hand side because the Rasengan's over here, right? So you might need something circular, like a place or a compass maybe or something. So center point of my page is here. The eyes, we're gonna go over to the right and start with his right eye here. So we just go diagonal up first and then we'll bring it across the top like so. And then we sort of just hook it down here, like that. And there's a bit of a gap. You can you can join them together, or you can leave this sort of gap between the bottom eyelid like that. You can join these if you want. So it's a it's a style choice really, and you can usually thicken up the top eyelid, right? Like that. And then. Half circle just for his eyes because he's frowning heavily, looking up under his eyelid and his pupil here. Right, like so. So you just measure the width of his eye. That fits in between his two eyes, okay? So here to here. So that's where you start the next eye, right? Like so. And then we'll curve a line up again. Like so. Trying to get them relatively even. I know it's tricky. You know, if only you had to draw one eye. <laughs> and then that bottom sort of eyelid line again. Coming across like so. And we'll thicken up the top eyelid. Like that and then half circle, just for his eye, and his pupil, just here, like so. So just trying to get them relatively same sort of size. Right, so he's frowning quite heavily and it goes underneath the headband, okay? So we don't see the whole eyebrow, but we'll do sort of what we can see. So it ticks up this way. The other side will tick up that way. And he's got yellow eyebrows, so we can see sort of some yellow color just inside here, right? And then the headband comes across, so like, let's see. So we've got side of his head there, and it comes across, right, we'll just go across the middle, and just line it up. It comes across to there, right, and then, so we've got like hair on this side, so stops about, let's say here, and then it comes across there okay so that's what we're dealing with all right and he's got sort of lines just coming like around his eyes here and then straight lines sort of down for his nose sort of over to the left here like so then we've got a nostril here nostril here And then his mouth, so pretty serious mouth, so it like comes across and down. Like so, and then you could add like a bottom lip line, just there. His chin then, down here, relatively round chin. Like so. 
and then this will come up just the side of his face like so now he's got like all long hair here so we don't sort of see his jaw right so he's got we'll draw those in so we've got side of his head and his hair so this sort of real long and it's coming right in across his face in this image so we've got like some spikes here Thing, and then this comes down to here. Then another one there, and then this comes up real long. This way. Like so. Right, and something similar on this side. So he's doing the Rasengan, so the Rasengan is right here. So it's like blowing his hair, do you know? So. There's like some extra movement in the hair than we normally see. Like this, right? And then we have like hair spikes that come across the front of his head, right? So we got like some here down this way So that kind of thing, right? So this is kind of more stylized than the actual anime. So it's, you know, extra sort of hair spikes and stuff. Kind of looks cooler, I think. And then this comes across for the metal plate for the headband. Comes up there. Kind of curved around the edges, see, just at the ends. Like so, and then we can, what we can see of the spiral, you know, just inside for the leaf symbol. It's got like a beak just there, maybe some of the tail going down this way. So if you want, this is normally like a double line, you know, scratched into the headband, but sort of difficult to do that with a Sharpie. So whatever way you can do is. That's the basic idea anyway. And then bolts just on the sides there. Right, so then we just finish the rest of his hair. So again, lots of hair spikes, kind of a bit wavier than what we see in the anime, but we'll We'll add them all the way up and around, right? Like so. And we'll just keep going around. So we'll do his hand and his arm that's coming across his shoulder, okay? So what we can see. So we can see his collar comes out from up here, right? So right up here, collar line. And then over here as well. Collar line, right? And then So 
So this will have to go diagonal back into here, kind of a curve line back to there, and then a curve line back into here. Right. And his arm, right? So he got like, his arm comes across the front this way. Okay, so let me see. So this is like a double line here. And then another sort of line coming down that way. And then we got his arm coming across the front. So we got like some bumps and lumps and things here, right? So bumping line here and this curves down because he's got these tightened bands on his arms. So we've got these like bumps here. And then another one here. And then this comes down that way. And then we got a band in here. So these are like pale bands that are on his wrist and it seems like his elbow, okay? So unusual sort of shape, right? And then his sleeve comes up around his hand, right? The cuff. Right, like that, so it's like, his hand comes out here. And we'll just attach this up to his shoulder now. So, see, it comes out from there, comes up like so, and then this comes out. this it's like his starts of his shoulder and the white of his cloak kind of thing so this comes down right to there and then his arm got like a fold line here and then this goes up into there and then like another sort of fold line coming across here one up there. Right, and then we'll go back up towards his shoulder, up around to his cloak there, okay? And then in here we can see some of his, um, you know, sort of that ninja armor that he wears. So, you know, like those green collars here one there like so bump it out to there bump it out to there like that um, right, we'll do the hand. So, complicated, hands are always tricky, take your time, okay? There's no easy way, really, of doing hands. There's no trick to it or anything. You just gotta do it a lot, over and over, and just get familiar with the shapes, you know? And kind of understand that fingers have like two knuckles and things, you know? And the thumb is opposable, you know? So it's opposite to the the four fingers here, right? So we do the thumb first, right? So it just so it curves up that way. Change direction once, and then turn around the top and curve it down there. Then this will go back into here. Add sort of just a line to suggest sort of a, a nail, just like that. And then the palm of his hand comes out this way. So he's doing this, he's holding the rescind down this way. So, like we have a finger then that starts to come up this way. Okay, so this is like the other side of it. Like, there, right? Now, index finger, and you have two knuckles, right? So you, well, you have three technically. So there's one here, this one, and then one there, and one there. So it bends like 
three times, right? But on the finger, it bends twice, right? So we're gonna go, so that's the first knuckle down here. Then you go up, change direction, change direction again. See, so we go one, two, three. Three segments, two knuckles. Then you go around the top. Then you go one, two, and a third, just there, okay? And then sort of a fingernail line, just there. Like that. And maybe like a, just a knuckle sort of line down here somewhere. So now we can see ring finger, middle finger is next, right? Because it sticks out sort of out this way. Right, so coming out from here, one segment, two segments, three segments. So three segments again. This line is his hand. So then we go, so hand line, and then you go one, two, three, right? And then his finger curves around the top. And then we do the same again. So we go one segment, second segment. And then this goes down for the third segment. And then we'll have like a bit of a knuckle line or something just there. Okay. And a line like so for fingernail. So this one comes across, right? And we can see a finger in, going in behind, the ring finger coming out from his sleeve and going in behind that finger, just there. And then it comes out, so it goes in behind the finger and comes out up here. And we can just see two segments, one, two. And then this curves around the top and we got the fingernail just there. And we go again, so we go for the last, so we can see his little finger just in back here. And we can just see roughly three segments. One, two, three. And then we go around, down like so. And maybe a line for a fingernail, but you can't really see much. Okay, so. Hands are tricky, so pause it there. Um, shoulder comes around like so, and his other arm is kind of crisscrossed down here. Can't see much of it, but we'll draw what in whatever I can see anyway. So it comes down like that, and then his sleeve comes around there to there, like, we can see some of his cloak like flowing, going off that way. And there's loads of cloak behind him, but we gotta kind of do his Rasengan stuff first, right? So this is where your circular object will come in handy, right? To draw the Rasengan, right? So it's like right here, right? So it's a ball. So like the it's like so this is like the bottom right so you kind of like that's what you're operating at so if you like something circular or something big enough i actually don't have something big enough so we'll sketch right so we'll just go and like the resingan can be kind of airy looking you know kind of um It doesn't have to be kind of a perfect circle because it's got like all this wind and stuff coming around it and stuff like that. So, but if you get like half the circle, you won't be doing too bad.
so if you get it roughly sketched in then you can try and smoothen up the line if you want but again if it's a sketchy line that's okay because it's you know you want it to be sort of windy looking you know right and there can be uh you know like lines coming out from it like going this way spiraling around you know so going off this direction going around sort of in a sort of spiraling like this kind of thing dots of sort of right and then inside we have um, that sort of Spiraling energy is the only way I can like describe it. So it's like, so you just kind of start with like a circle and then it kind of, you know, comes, you're kind of doing this. It's kind of, you know, like, have you ever seen like atoms, you know, images of atoms? So you're just like starting in the middle and sort of going out roughly sort of and you keep sort of getting bigger as you go out right it's a tricky enough little thing to do I've done it a few times now but so you you're imagining there's like little atoms and sort of going around this sort of center line, right? That's the sort of thing you're aiming for. Planets sort of, you know, going around a nucleus. All right. Um, and then, but that's the basic idea for that. Um, and then you can color it in sort of blue and stuff like that. So we've got Cloak coming behind all this, right? So his head, it goes right behind the top of his head. So, and like in behind the Rasengan, so like here, right? Like this flows up behind his hair, I think. Yeah, like right up this way. Goes off then top of my page, right? And on the other side of it will come out. Um, so it's like, there's like fire and stuff, so like, say here you know it curves around and goes off that way and then can we see what can we see over here so it goes off that way cloak and like some fold lines and things on the cloak here and then there's like this red fire on the end of it that 
way and then this fire runs along the, the all of this cloak really all around the what we would call the hem or the end of it and it's just this general sort of flame pattern And it goes all the way off my page. A few more room, you know, just keep the cloak, the cloaks like flowing back that way. You know, there's like full lines and things on the cloak going on that way. So that's all like red and that's white, red, white, you know. And you can add as much sort of dirt and wind energy and things around the Rasengan and you can Sometimes the line around the edge is thicker. Not all the time, but. But I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw Minato with the Rasengan. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.